do a little cooking with our parabolic dish here. Christy and I decided we wanted sausage for breakfast in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook it today. It's a nice sunny day. Cook it on the old parabolic dish and put it in the fridge. There's a few things when you're cooking with a parabolic dish. I always use a spatula from my gas grill, wear some kind of gloves. When I first started doing this, I wore my welding gloves. Because if you take your hand across that focal point on this, it'll definitely burn you. And then you want to use a pan with a good, thick pan. You don't want to use just a cheap pan or it'll warp it because it gets so hot. So you want something with some weight to it and a good long handle like this one has um, on it. This is my old parabolic dish. This thing I've had eight or nine years. You can see it's all rusted, but the, the mylar, it's just peel and stick mylar that's on it, does a great job still. I just clean it with a rag and it needs cleaning right now, but I think it'll be good enough for what we're wanting to do. I can already hear that sausage starting to sizzle. I just watch underneath. You want to try to get the focal point to the center of the pan. And I'll grab the camera and show you. But you want it as close to center as possible. You may have to turn it a little and there's an adjustment on the back to tilt it back and forth. But let me show you the focal point underneath this. If I can get it focused in here. There's the focal point. You can see it's about center of the pan. You can see the sausage is already starting to sizzle. I'll bring the tripod closer to where you can get a better view of it. You always want to stand off to the side when you're cooking with a parabolic dish. It's starting to sizzle a little right now. Of course, wouldn't you know it, we got a few clouds coming over. There ain't but about three clouds in the sky and they just happen to be shading us. It's one thing with a parabolic dish, you need a good sunny day. It's not like with a solar oven. Solar oven, you can have partly cloudy and it'll still hold the heat once it gets warmed up. Of course, it does better on a full sunny day also, but a parabolic dish, you have to have that full sun. The sausage, little girl. Our little pig is wandering around here. I think she smells the sausage. Get back. Get back. Go. Go. Go get back in your pen.
along the way as the sun moves. Did a better job leveling my dish. Grease would stay in the center. A little bit slower than cooking it on a stove, but it's free energy. If something happened, we couldn't get propane. I know we could cook at least sausage. But no, you can cook hamburgers, bacon, about anything you can on a stove eye. Had my dish cleaner, it would cook a little bit hotter. Right now it's cooking about like between simmer and medium on a stove eye. Try to keep them pulled to the middle because that's where the focal point is. In the center of the pan. Just about waited too late in the day. You can see how steep of an angle I have my parabolic dish. Um, it cooks hotter around anywhere from 10.30 in the morning to about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's about 5 o'clock now, 5.30 in the afternoon. So my dish is at a real steep angle to gather enough sun. But it's still enough to cook this sausage for in the morning. Um, Maybe tomorrow or the next day, if we have a good sunny day, I'll cook something else and do it around 12, 1 o'clock in the day and show you how quick it'll cook. It cooks a lot harder, hotter that time of day. But this is still going to get the job done, and we're going to have sausage for breakfast in the morning. Cooked by the sun. Right, I think we're getting close to being done here. I got this pan hot and I got some burgers. 
I might reheat one of them. Oh yeah. Yep, these are definitely done. As you can see, you can use the power of the sun to cook your food. Move those to the edge. Well, as you can see, a parabolic dish is definitely the way to go on a sunny day. You can cook all your food. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We finally reached a thousand subscribers and, and we really appreciate every one of you. But if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. If not, thanks for watching.